Training camp is just around the corner for the New York football giants. So on today's show, I wanted to take a look at five giants with the most to prove. Welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. And with that said, we're going to take a look at five guys. But first, I want to get you guys involved early in the show. Before I share the five players that I think have the most to prove or the most to gain in training camp, I want to ask you, give me one name. What singular player has the most to prove at training camp coming up in a week? Is it someone that's on offense? Is it someone that's on defense? Is it a head coach? Is it John Mara? Is it the medium Pepsis that were sold at the stadium? Let me know what you think. The most or the player with the most to prove at training camp. The number one guy that came to my mind was Gary Brightwell. The fifth round selection back in 20, the 2021 draft by Dave Gettleman. Didn't play a lot in his rookie year. But now with the Giants having somewhat of a crowded running back room, led by Saquon Barkley and Matt Breida being the number two running back, Brightwell, Jay Sean Corbin, and Antonio Williams are all fighting for that third running back spot. I do think the Giants will keep four running backs, but when you're the fourth running back, some games you're not going to dress out. You're going to be asked to compete to produce in the special teams department. That's what Brightwell did last year. But the third running back will still get touches and still be involved in the offensive game plan. I think it's important to note that Gary Brightwell last year in his rookie season played in just 12 offensive snaps. He was not used as a running back. He was used as a special teams guy. He was on kickoff, kick return, punt, and punt return. That's where he got most of his burn in his rookie season. And so he didn't really set much of a foundation for himself as a running back. And this year, if he wants to make the roster, he's going to have to show whether it's in training camp or preseason, he could be counted on as a back that you can hand the ball off to. And if he doesn't, he could be looking on the outside end of this 53-man roster. I think training camp will be a great starting spot for Brightwell to show the rest of the team and Giants fans, honestly, what he can do at the running back position. But I want to ask this question before we get to candidate number two. Who will be the Giants' third running back come week one of the 2022 NFL season? Will it be the undrafted rookie in Jay Sean Corbin? Type JC. If you're rocking with Gary Brightwell, you can type GB. Or if you think Antonio Williams is that guy, you can go down the comment section and type AW. The New York football Giants are wearing their throwback jerseys this year two times. It's going to be exciting. They announced it on Wednesday this week, and we've got them on sale for you guys. You can get a Daniel Jones, a Saquon Barkley, a Kadarius Tony, but this is the one I would get. Xavier McKenney. I like getting the guys that not everyone gets. You got to have two guys on your team, right, Petey, that you can wear a jersey of, and Xavier McKenney is that guy. I think he has a, bound, a, a breakout year. I think he's going to be contending to be an all-pro player but get hooked up with one of these fresh jerseys. They're already selling like hotcakes. They're not going to last forever. Go to chatsports.com slash Giants throwback. That's chatsports.com slash Giants throwback. You're going to be wearing, want to be wearing these new threads. They've also got Kayvon Thibodeau, a whole bunch of them, as well as throwback players like Lawrence Taylor, O.C. Uminior, Jeremy Shockey. All the Giants legends have these jerseys on sale. Chatsports.com slash Giants throwback. You just got to go to that link, all of it in the comments and description of this video. The guy I think that has the second most to prove or earn or gain at training camp is Darius Slayton. And we've talked about Slayton a lot on this show. He's been mentioned in trade rumors. He's been mentioned as a cut candidate. And the thing I think that is most telling about a guy like him and is he's been running with the second team and Giants OTAs and Giants minicamp this offseason. Running behind guys like David Sills, Richie James, and C.J. Board. And that's a problem. When you're Darius Slating, Slayton entering year four of your NFL career and you're fighting for a roster spot, that usually doesn't end up that good for you. The Giants are going to keep these four receivers for sure that you see pictured in Galladay, Shepard, Tony, and Robinson. I think they keep two more. And it's going to come down to Slayton, Board and Richie James, and I think Board is going to make this team because what he does on special teams. If we could ever get back to that rookie year Darius Slayton, where he came into the league and surprised everybody as a fifth year, fifth round selection out of Auburn, 48 grabs for 740 yards in eight 
touchdowns as a rookie. He had everyone believing he was going to be the great or the next great New York Giants receiver. But it didn't happen. In 2020, he had a solid season. But in 2021, that's where he just kind of fell apart. He lost the confidence. He started to drop the, fo the football a lot more. The last two seasons, he has 12 drops. Do I think he makes this roster? I say no. And it's partially due to the unfortunate situation that he played so much and played so well on his rookie deal. He got an up pay in his salary. He went from $900,000 to $2.5 million. And as we know, the Giants have been battling the salary cap all offseason long. So I think they cut him. They save that $2.5 million, and they use it to be more flexible or roll it over into next season. What do you think? Will Slayton make the Giants 53-man roster? Type M for make, or you can go down and type C for cut. When the Giants start to cut players or sign more players, we will be keeping you guys up to date. Subscribe to New York Giants Now by Chat Sports for videos every single day on the latest Giants news and rumors. We just crossed over 10,000 subscribers. Salute to everybody that's hit that big red button. But we're trying to get to 11,000 by week one, which is about 50 days away. Is it lofty? Yes, but I know Giants fans answer the bell every single time. So I'm challenging you to ha get more people to subscribe to Giants now. Send it to a friend. Send it to a homie. YouTube.com slash chat sports. Uh, you, you, uh, you, YouTube.com slash NYGiantsTV. Wow, that was brutal. Let's ride. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Seals Jones, he's the next guy I have on my list that has the most to prove at training camp. And it's it's because he's a guy that's been bouncing around the NFL for a while. He hasn't really found a sticking point on any team in the NFL. I think that's a depth three. I don't know what's going on there, PD. But Daniel Bellinger, the rookie that was drafted this past year, has turned a lot of heads at Giants off-season programs, we'll call it. And he, in my opinion, is the number one tight end on this roster. I have it on the, on the screen as tight end 1A, 1B, and that's what I think it will eventually play out as. But Ricky Seals-Jones has been a guy that hasn't been getting a lot of reps in offseason programs. Brian Dable calls it a rep chart and not a depth chart, and he's a guy that hasn't been getting a lot of reps. Daniel Bellinger has been the tight end in the number one huddle all offseason long. And for a guy like Ricky Seals-Jones that's been in the league for four years and he's already on his fourth team, and he looks like he already has lost the starting spot to a number, to a rookie. That's a problem. I like Ricky Seals-Jones. Five-star recruit coming out of Sealy, Texas. Played at Texas A&M. He was a guy that came there as a wide receiver, switched to tight end. Has all the potential in the world. Six foot six and split out wide. Has some wide receiver skills. And I think that fits this off offense a little bit more. I think he's more of a receiving threat than a guy like Daniel Bellinger. But it comes down to who do the Giants want to rock with. And I think they want to rock with the rookie and Daniel Bellinger, who's made a lot of good plays and has a lot of fans inside this organization. I think Bellinger gets the nod. I think both these guys actually make the team. I think Seals Jones will be tight end number two. But I want to ask you this question. Who do you think will be the starting tight end come week one? Type RS for Ricky Seals Jones or DB for Daniel Bellinger. Another guy. Let's go with a rookie. What about Dane Belton, the fourth round safety drafted out of Iowa. I think he has a lot to prove at training camp. The Giants are thin at safety. They don't really have a whole lot of bodies there. After Xavier McKinney and Julian Love, I think Belton can, can, can be that guy that steps up into that third safety spot. Jaron Williams was switched over from a corner to a safety spot because the Giants were so thin there. They also have undrafted free agent Yusuf Corker who's going to be competing for a roster spot. But I really do believe that Dane Belton is very good, and he's going to challenge Julian Love for playing time this upcoming season. He's someone that I think is more of a true strong safety than a guy like Julian Love. I like Julian Love best as a nickel guy, as a slot corner guy. And I'm expecting Wink Martindale, like he said he would do, to maximize his personnel and use more three safety sets with Dane Belton at the strong safety, Xavier McKinney at the free safety, and Julian Love at that nickel spot. A lot of three safety sets like we, like we used to see in the Giants' heyday when Steve Spagnola had us go into the Super Bowl. That's what we did to get there. We started that three safety movement. And I'm expecting that to be the same this year because the Giants don't really have a strong nickel corner. I want to see a guy 
um, like Darnay Holmes take another step this season or Cordell Flott as a rookie take a step. But Julian Love has proved it. He can man the slot, and I think that's where he'll play predominantly this season, while Dane Belton is going to sneak up and surprise a lot of people and become the starting strong safety by season's end. Last guy on today's show that we'll take a look at that has the most to prove at training camp, and that's the rookie, Joshua Azudu. He was a top 100 pick by the New York football giants, and when you select someone in the top 100, you're expecting them to play right away. Right now, I have him as the backup left guard to a guy like Shane Lemieux. But can he go out and beat him out? Lemieux coming back from that Patel injury that he suffered last season. But can the rookie, Joshua Azudu, show the new offensive line coach, the dirtbag mentality, and earn that starting spot? I think best case scenario, Azudu becomes that starter. Because the earlier your rookies play, they're going to earn more confidence. They're going to earn uh, playing time and just the trust within that locker room. And when you, like we said, take someone in the top 100, you're expecting them to play right away. And that's what the Giants need. They need Azudu to come in, earn his keep in training camp, preseason rolls around, show he's better than Shane Lemieux, and earn that left guard spot so the Giants could have a complete offensive line that they can move forward for. You could have Evan Neal, Azudu, Andrew Thomas, and Mark Lewinsky as your four offensive linemen starting for the next four or five years, that would be a very solid group that you can build around and build on top of. I would love to see a Zudu start. He's going to have to turn some heads and earn it. I still do predict Shane Lemieux the guy that will start, but a Zudu will have a fighting chance to be that guy. But I want to test you right now. Predict it. Who will be the starting left guard for the Giants come week one? Will it be Shane Lemieux, type 66? Type 72 for Max Garcia. Or if you're rolling with the Rook, you can go down in the comment section and type 75.